Hey, welcome everybody to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, I'm tuning around. Decided to uh, do a, a few videos tuning around with the uh, with the uh, RTL SDR V3, which is the uh, little dongle that's kind of cheap, around thirty bucks ish, and uh, we're trying to. Uh, Check it out a little more. I haven't been tuning with this a long time. So here's some aeronautical communications, 2899. Two eight nine nine Gander, Newfoundland, Canada, air traffic control. I think this is the lowest frequency I get. Any air traffic information or any for air traffic communications to eight nine nine, pretty low frequency. Just below shortwave, it's actually technically medium wave. This is cell call or selective calling. It's a set of tones that actually turns on the radios in the airplane. So you don't want to have, you know, static in the cockpit all the time. So what happens, they program the radio with a set of tones which will actually make the radio squelch turn off so that they can listen to communications. So when the air traffic control tower wants to con contact a plane, they'll send the sequence of tones that goes with the plane they're trying to communicate with. And what they do is here, they synchronize the tones. So they tell them, okay, here's your cell call, which means that the airplane will synchronize with the tones. And from now on, the air traffic control tower, when needed, will have that set of tones specific for that plane. And they do that with every plane over the Atlantic Ocean and over the oceans worldwide. You're welcome, Kendra. Okay. Kind of cool to hear air traffic. So, of course, there's a lot of air traffic frequencies. Um, often where I tune, especially at night, so I hear a gander here. Uh, I know that I think 3016 is no frequency uh, where I can tune for air traffic control. Um, so what I'll do sometimes is I'll... Uh, the air traffic control frequencies mostly that I listen to are in the 5 megahertz, like uh, 5598... Five, there you'll have New York and Gander on these frequencies. So, five five nine eight, upper side band. Always an upper side band. You have uh, five six one six very often. That is one of the frequencies used. There's five 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 zero, I believe, also. There's many frequencies. You gotta just, you know, stay there in tune. This is one of the flaws that, you know, when I'm talking about cheap SDRs, um, the SDR, RTL SDR V3 is great, but look at all these little peaks that shouldn't be there from signals that, you know, oh, there's a signal here. Yeah, no, that's not really here. It's part of those spurious signals that you get from the, uh, the fact that it's not as good at uh, filtering out, you know, uh, anything that is uh, a harmonic with, generated within the receiver. 
So sometimes you'll hear medium wave stations and stuff like that. It's it's the major flaw of the RTL is the RV3. But it is very sensitive. As you see, I've received a Gander 206, um, 2899. And I mean, you're, you're going to receive stuff. You could also see by the changes in the color of the waterfall here how strong signals will easily make it a little less um, sensitive. There's a signal here. Let's check it out. And that's 5505. So 5505 is uh, Shannon, Ireland. That's Shannon Ireland um, Volmet, or um, what is uh, the weather for uh, aeronautical purposes? They're kind of fun to uh, kind of fun to play with. I mean, anybody that you know doesn't have a lot of money to shed wants to have an SDR that typically works and receiving signal is sensitive enough. If you can cope with its flaws, it's, you know, surprisingly good for the price. Uh, you just got to make sure that, you know, you check your signals, make sure you don't hear spurious signals and think that they're really there. Um, that's learning. You know, I could see it with my experience. I can see it and I can, you know, I know when a signal is or should be there and a signal shouldn't be there. But And even then, even then I can get fooled sometimes. So more on the uh, RTL SDR V3 dongle. That's uh, what I'm going to be playing with for the rest of the evening and making various videos showing you all. I uh, We're going to tune the 49 meter band and show you once again a little bit on how I use uh, EIBI space and also kind of uh, help you understand a little bit of its language if you want because that's my favorite list personally. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.